everyone, it's me Lutfia. Today we are going to learn about standard-based assessment. There are four topics that we are going to learn today. The first is ELD standard. The second is CASAS and SCANS. The third is teacher standard. And the fourth is the consequences of standard-based and standardized testing. Let's start with the first topic, ELD standard. So the ELD standard defines the levels of proficiency required for an English learner to move through the levels of English language development. There are five standards in ELD. The first is language for social and instructional purposes. So English language learner communicate for social and instructional purposes within the school setting. The second is language for language art. English language learners communicate information, ideas, and concepts necessary for academic success in the content area of language art. The third is language for mathematics. English language learners communicate information, ideas, and concepts necessary for academic success in the content of mathematics. The fourth is language for science. English language learner communicate information, ideas, and concepts necessary for academic success in the content area of science. And the fifth, language for social studies. So English language learner communicate information, ideas, and concepts necessary for academic success in the content area of social studies. Let's move to the second topic. CASAS and SCANS. Do you know what is the difference? So, CASAS or Comprehensive Adult Student Assessment System, it is designed to provide broadly based assessment of ESL curricula across the US. It includes more than 80 standardized assessment instruments used to place students in program needs, diagnose students' needs, monitor progress, and certify mastery of functional skills. On the other hand, SCANS or Secretary's Commissions in Achieving Necessary Skills, it outlines competencies necessary for language in the workplace. The competencies include resources, interpersonal skills, information processing system, and technology use and application. Let's move to the third topic, teacher standard. So Kuhima 2001 emphasized the importance of teacher standards in three domains. First, linguistic and language development. Second, culture and interrelationship between language and culture. Third, planning and managing instruction. Professional teaching standards have also been the focus of several committees in International Association of Teachers of English to speakers of other languages or all. So the consequences of standard-based and standard testing has positive side and negative side. On the positive side, we have high level of practicality and reliability, provide insight into academic performance, accuracy in placing a number of test takers onto a non-reference scale, and ongoing construct validation studies. On the negative side, we have first test bias. For example, if a student moves from Hawaii and is given a test asking them to describe a snowy winter, the test will be biased because the student lacks any experience with the snowy winters. The second test driven learning and teaching. So when student and other test takers know that one single of measure of performance will determine their life, they are less likely to take a positive attitude toward learning. The third, ethical issues, critical language testing. So the issue has represent a social technology deeply embedded in education, government, and business. As such, they provide the mechanism enforcing power and control. This can be found as proponents of a critical approach to language testing claim that art skills and the right testing is not an unbiased process but rather is the agent of cultural, social, political, educational, and ideological agendas that shape the life of individual participants, teachers, and learners.
So that's all about today's material. If you have any question or comment, you can drop it in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Goodbye.